Hello, Internet, and welcome back to the 30 day video game music challenge where I have been attempting and failing miserably at certain points in time, the hard mode version of the challenge where I've tried to not repeat games. All the way through, I've been saying I can't use music from that specific game. I can't use music from that specific game because it is going to come up later on in the list. And today, you finally get to find out why. It's day 29. It is the final boss music day. And you can finally find out why I've not talked about this. No, no, I'm kidding. Uh, although, that is, that, this is the runner-up. This is um, Gareth Coker's Moloch from the Darksiders Genesis soundtrack, which actually I think is a really, really cool final boss theme. And I actually did, for half a second, consider uh, putting the whole thing... The whole thing? The whole thing on here as the, 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 my choice. Um, if I if I was to to get the other song in somewhere else, and I couldn't do it. Uh, it th th this this song is just too too big, too important to me as a gamer, as a writer and storyteller. You you know. You know that this has to be this song. This has to be my favorite piece of final boss music. What is it? It's Dancing Mad. It's Kefka's theme from Final Fantasy VI. In my opinion, this is Umatsu's masterstroke. This is one of the best pieces of music anybody has ever written for a video game. There are so many pieces in this game, uh, in this game, in this song. The version that you are listening to is the Final Fantasy XIV version from the Kefka fight in the Delta Scape in Stormblood. Uh, just because it's higher quality and the the one thing that i will say about the the original snares hardware is that it did a good job of trying to do dancing mad justice and it's a great version on the snes but i'm not limited to just choosing the snes I'm not limited to just choosing the SNES version of this song for this. I can just say, hell, hell yes, Dancing Mad, Final Boss Music. I'll use whatever version of this to illustrate my point I damn well please. So I'm gonna. I'm using the Final Fantasy XIV version. But I'm gonna talk about... I'm gonna talk about, the, you know, the various stages of the fight. Because of course, and, and you might have seen this recently, because my... My, uh, my playthrough of Final Fantasy VI has finished by this point. So you'll know that, if, if you know Final Fantasy VI, Kef the Kefka fight is multi-stage. And each stage takes you up a massive statue, uh, graven images that Kefka has created. And each time you defeat one section of the statue and move up to the next. I'm gesticulating here with my hands. You can't see it. Um, each time you move up, the music changes and there are four different stages you know you've got, you've got the bottom stage versus a, a big ass demon you've got this stage which is the the, the second bit I, I was trying to skip through the video 
that I, the YouTube video that I'm, I'm watching with the, the soundtrack on here to try and get to the next bit. And it's really hard to do because it's just such a great piece of music overall. The issue is, of course, that's 14 and a half minutes long. You know, it's not that long of fights, or it doesn't have to be. Hold on, I'm going to have to stop for this. Turn it up a bit. Key change. Yeah, we're, we're only four minutes and 40 seconds into this video. Um, yeah, into this, this version of the song. It, there was just so, so much. I can't play it all for you here, but go and look up. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV OST, Kefka's theme, open parentheses, dancing mad, close parentheses. You'll, you'll find it on Dude Where's My Spoon's YouTube channel, uh, as well as various others. It is just a phenomenal piece of music for a, an excellent multi-stage boss fight that essentially, in Final Fantasy VI, you are facing off against god now kefka by this point is the god of magic he is massively powerful it takes 12 people for three full parties to to down him it takes everything that they have got to to put him in his place let's uh let's skip ahead if i can find it to the second half because you can't not talk about this part this is where kefka himself finally fights you in ff6 life dreams hope where do they come from where do they go such things as those are mine to destroy But yes, I, I don't want to. I, I don't want to make this a, a fourteen-minute, thirty-four-second video of me just sitting here listening to Dancing Mad because that is one of the problems with Dancing Mad. It is a song that I just want to listen to, and and you're not here to just listen to a piece of music. You're you're here to listen. Well, you're here to listen to me talk about music. You're you're here to see what my my opinion was. Um probably you're, you're here to see you know what i chose for this and you know chances are within the first 30 seconds once you found out people have already turned off that's fine um dancing mad you know a lot of people uh, including my best friend quite naturally chose one winged angel for this and i love one winged angel you know as, as much as i did not really like final fantasy 7 um the music from it is still excellent music you know one winged angel is a great piece of music uh and i think they really did it justice in advent children and i think they really did it justice in the remake as well although i'm i must say i actually really quite like the the, the genova theme Geneva, genova i can't remember which way i'm supposed to pronounce it now in the the remake as well but it's still for me doesn't match dancing mad and arguably to me it doesn't quite match invincible um hades's theme from final fantasy 14 shadowbringers either excuse me um there we go kefka's theme dancing mad 
penultimate day day 29 final boss music from a video game that's what i'm choosing and unless something really strange happens in the rest of my life that is probably probably the song i will always choose just because i love kefka as a villain he's great he is excellent you know it he's not as as kind of narratively perfect as emmett selk is in my opinion but he's got the better music so you know it it it's it, it it's it's and actually arden arden kefka and emmett selk are three of the best villains i think uh from any video game kefka's mad arden's pissed off emmett selk is sad and yet hopeful but sad um you know that that's that's how i'd sum up those those three characters realistically in terms of the, their essential emotional traits kefka has has just gone nuts and wants to to get back at the world for turning him mad um arden wants to get back at the line of lucis for their betrayal and emmett selk just wants to return his people to how they were and unfortunately he's gonna have to potentially commit genocide in order to do that and he feels like it's justified and there's a, a profound sadness in shadowbringers because uh, i'm talking about shadowbringers now i'm not even talking about video game music here um there's a profound sadness to emmett selk because th this this is what makes shadowbringers so good for me what emmett selk does is deplorable how he interacts and how he how he acts and his philosophies towards you know the current races of eorzea and the, the various shots absolutely deplorable can't condone and yet don't you feel bad for him question mark question mark question mark that's going to be it for today's video folks we've got one more to go let me know in the comments below what final boss music would be on or is on your list or link me up to your your list if you've you know if you've got your own youtube channel and you've or a blog or whatever a twitter account or whatever and you have done one of these lists for yourself let me know because i love looking at people's opinions for for different music and i love discovering new music that i haven't heard before final boss music tomorrow we'll wrap this up with day 30 and credits music and there was only one choice for this and it might surprise you that sounds really clickbaity oh oh god no don't do that um but yeah find out tomorrow what uh what credits choice is it might surprise you have i said that before i feel like i might have said that in, in past videos now oh god what's happened to me oh oh stay safe out there everybody and i'll hopefully catch you all tomorrow for day 30 the final day until then cheerio thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video why not click the like button and consider subscribing remember you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live and until next time cheerio